<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Well, now things are going to get some yes. fun around here. We have Willie the Wild Boar joining us because we're going to be talking about the Wild Boar Challenge. We also have Ryan Albers is joining us, uh, the event organizer. Welcome, welcome here this morning. Thank How you. are you, Willie? It's not often you get a wild boar in your living room. That's this is right. exciting, uh, but it's all about an exciting event that we want people to know about and be a part of because it's also helping out various charities as well. So thank Absolutely. you so much for being here, both yeah. of you. Uh, what's going on? What are we talking about? Yep, uh, this Saturday morning at Wildwood Hills Ranch, one of the charities that we support. So we have an obstacle course race, Mud Run. Uh, it's a five mile event. Uh, we're going on our seventh year the run uh, appeals to all ages. We've had five-year-olds and 75-year-olds, oh all different goodness. shapes and sizes participate in it. Now, where is this located? Uh, so St. Charles, St. Charles. Uh, about a half hour south of West yep, Des Moines. Not far. Yep, uh, beautiful country between St. Charles and Winterset is act yeah, the actual location. Yeah, it is beautiful location. down there. And, and yep. we're kind of seeing footage from uh, years past, people getting warmed up, ready to go uh, for this truly amazing obstacle course. So what are we talking about when we're saying obstacle course? What are some of the things people are gonna be doing well, uh, when they're out there? Yeah, uh, so uh, our friends at uh, Ferrell's Extreme Body Shaping, uh, we partnered with them uh, over the years to develop the course beautiful. and continue to change it up. Uh, so we have obstacles. Oh my goodness, uh, you're like, like really running yeah. through the mud. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the Rocky Mountain Oyster Freeze. Oh my goodness. Uh, we <laughs> have the, the pig prod. Uh, we have the, the uh, hog log, uh, the pulled pork obstacle. So that's going to be a new one this year. Looks like that, you're making good use of that rural setting that you're in. Oh my you know, goodness. Mother Nature does that. give us a lot to work with. The we have a, a bunch of drill sergeants oh that volunteer to help out. and kind of motivate the runners through the course. Wow. Now is the full five miles obstacles? I mean, is that through you, the, or is it kind of just it, chunked yeah, out? Yep, yeah, it's, it's kind of broke out. Uh, so we have uh, roughly 15 different obstacles throughout the course, throughout the five miles, and some are spaced out a little bit further. It just kind of depends on, you know, where we're at in the property. That's amazing. Okay. Um, and you're absolutely right. You're seeing people of all ages, men and women out there uh, doing this thing. Why do you it, think people are so attracted to obstacle courses like this? You know, it, it's, yeah, I don't know why. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I think it's the challenge, and it's just, it's different. And even though it is challenging, it looks fun. <laughs> the, the, the thing that we really see uh, and, and like to see is the, the runners helping each other, motivating each other yeah. through the course. And you can see on social media uh, before each of the events, you know, there's some people that are doing something like this for the first time who are nervous and scared sure. and maybe regretting that they signed up. And then others who have done it before start to chime in and say, you know, you can do it. We'll help you through it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so it's meant to be uh, an inspiring event that everyone can uh, go after and attain in their own special way. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, folks that will finish in like 45 minutes, which is just crazy. <laughs> and and then we have, you know, some that it takes just two and you know, two, three hours. Taking their time to, doing what they have yeah. to do. Right, they're, they're walking, kind of jogging through it and taking their time they're and enjoying it. They're gonna make it to the end of it. I right? love it. Yep, Get that's a goal the that they've set. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so this is all taking place this Saturday. Yep, Saturday morning, the race uh, time is at 9.30. Okay. People start to show up around 8, 8.30 to get kind of warmed up, stretched out, checked in. Uh, we have, for the first time ever, we have a packet pickup party. Ooh. And that's going to be at Smash Park this year. So okay. Iowa Pork, the Iowa Pork Producers, their uh, sponsor, they're donating uh, free pork. Uh, Smash Park's donating games, and they're going to have a band, a concert there that night, um, along with uh, the free food and free drinks. So that's happening so, this Friday night. That's and then can, is, there, is there still time for people to get registered up for yeah. the event? Yep. So folks can register uh, at Smash Park between four and seven o'clock Friday. Okay or at Wildwood uh, before the race. So let's say 8, 8.30 a.m. Uh, at Wildwood. Let, let's talk about besides just physically challenging one another and supporting one another, we're also supporting charity uh, by doing this. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yep, uh, so I'm actually part of the Contributors Breakfast Club and we do a, a handful of different fundra fundraising events throughout the year. We just had a golf tournament last week, uh, but this is one of our main fundraisers. Okay. And we're supporting uh, not only Wildwood, uh, but other charities, children's charities like YES, uh, Freedom for Youth Ministries. Uh, so Iowa or Central Iowa kind of based charities 
really just trying to uh, you know, help out kids that need an advantage, mm -hmm. uh, that just don't have all the privileges you know, that a lot of us do. Uh, so these are great causes you know, that we want to rally around. Absolutely. And yeah. you guys are seven years strong now. Yeah. So can you talk yeah. about just how this all got started? Right. Uh, so, well, we actually were involved in the Adel Sweet Corn Run, the 5K, okay. uh, and uh, led the charge on that for a number of years. And then as the obstacle course race thing started to kind of trend, uh, we recognized that and we had a chance to kind of transition. Uh, so in Wildwood, being one of the charities that su we support, it's just the perfect venue mm -hmm. for a mud run obstacle course race. Uh, so it just kind of clicked and... Made yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. T tell us more about Willie the Wild Boar and, and, and the role he plays right. in yep. all of this. <laughs> He's the true inspiration. <laughs> he is, a very, yeah, a celebrity. So he was actually uh, out at the fair this year. He was at the Iowa Pork Tent. Yes. Uh, hanging out with our presidential candidates. Um, you know, this, this is not the most... Uh, uh, user-friendly uh, mascot costume, uh, especially when you're standing over a grill in the Iowa pork tent trying to help out on grilling the b pork burgers and the pork loin sandwiches for uh, fair attendees. He about passed out at one point. Oh, no. It doesn't look uh, like Tim it's the best for doing all the obstacles either, getting in on the actual uh, not, race itself. It, there's some visibility issues with the snout. Uh, Tim Ryan, uh, he, he got a little bit excited when, when Willie's spatula kind of bumped into his spatula on the grill when they were cooking at the fair. But uh, no, it, and, and originally I, I thought I would wear this mascot uh, outfit, but where we ordered it from, the extra large there doesn't mean extra large here. <laughs> So. Uh, no matter what, I think that head just says, uh, you can do this. And no matter <laughs> what, uh, we're ready to you dig can be on the one in. That's, yeah, encouraging and, them. Yes. Each stop. Motivate everyone. Uh, and as we're motivating you and talking uh, to you out there, our viewers this morning, sign on up. Still opportunity to register for this great event on Saturday. Yep, $65. Yep, sign up at Smash Park on Friday or on site on Saturday. So uh, if you want to learn more, see more pictures, video. Yeah wildboarchallenge.org. Is okay. it age range for this? Uh, teenage, can teenagers participate? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And, and you know, we, we've seen, yeah, four or five year olds out there with okay. their parents so, and you know, nice. some of those obstacles. Oh, I bet they love. They get a little bit deep, so the parents <laughs> are helping them through it. So a lot of fun. Right. Wild boar challenge. All for a great yeah. cause. Helping Many causes about. here helping in Central kids. Iowa. Right. The last couple of years we've netted uh, about $30,000 for Wildwood Hills Ranch. That's amazing. So, so keep up the good work. Uh, Willie, thank you yes. uh, for being here and inspiring us this morning. Uh, presenting this to you. With you. Yeah, it's a wild <laughs> boar challenge. Are you up for it? We think you are. Check them out online and we'll see you out there this Saturday. You're watching Iowa Live here on CWI with 23